Among the many skills a bow hunter needs is the ability to get exceptionally close to the game he's hunting. It's a point well understood by Bill McRae. As one of the nation's top outdoor photographers and an avid bow hunter, his experience with both camera and bow and arrow have given him an intimate knowledge of game animals in their natural habitats. There's a lot that goes into being able to approach game animals to within a few yards. And to get really close up, I found that the skills I need as a wildlife photographer are the same as those I need as a bow hunter. It begins with having an intimate knowledge of the animal and its habits. Take the white-tailed deer, for example. It's bow hunting's most popular game species and is abundant throughout most all of North America. White-tailed are alert by nature and have sharp, fine-tuned senses. Their vision is very good, especially at 40 yards and under. And their eyes can easily detect contrasts and movements, anything that is out of place in their surroundings. Deer also have an exceptional sense of smell and can recognize human odor as far as several hundred yards away. And with their large cupped ears, they can instantly react to no more than the crackle of a dry leaf underfoot. With these highly sensitive defense mechanisms, a whitetail is a tough animal to outsmart. So if you expect to get within bow hunting range, you'll have to get to know these animals, their habits, and their daily patterns. Whitetail usually stay within a small home territory, sometimes no larger than several square miles. They also tend to follow pretty much the same daily routine. They're up early and feeding in the morning. During midday hours, they're typically bedded down in thick cover and only in the late afternoon do they move again, returning to their feeding areas. This daily cycle, the movement between cover and feeding spots, is typical of whitetail behavior throughout the country. But to find deer where you hunt, you'll have to become familiar with what they're eating in your area. Once you've found a concentration of deer feeding in a particular area, you'll want to pinpoint their travel routes and other areas they frequent. Sign left by deer provide an important clue as to their whereabouts. For instance, a well-used game trail with fresh hoof prints and droppings is a sure indication that deer are moving through the area. Pay particular attention to where trails open up into feeding areas or where two trails intersect. You'll likely be hunting during the rut, and at this time of year, bucks leave telltale signs that you should be on the lookout for. A scrape, for example, is a pawed out spot on the ground where a buck has urinated to mark his territory. During the rut, bucks also leave rubs on small trees and shrubs for the same reason. Of course, to be of any real value, sign must be fresh. And that's why your scouting should be done as close as possible to the opening of the hunting season. As a bow hunter, preseason scouting is an important part of your responsibility. It will greatly improve your chances of finding a spot where you'll be able to set up a high percentage shot. And when the season finally does open, and that exciting moment comes when you have a chance for a shot at a nice buck, is that shot really within your consistently accurate shooting range? Is there a bush or some brush in front of the animal that might deflect your arrow? Is the animal positioned so that you have a clear shot at its vital area? Are you within legal shooting hours? These are just some of the questions every responsible bow hunter has to ask himself before he takes any shot. Should you shoot or not? It's a decision no one else can make for you. Just keep in mind that out here, the only thing you have to answer to is your own conscience.